All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with my July 2014 update video for, you guessed it, July 2014. Woo. So I decided to do this without my glasses just because I noticed in uh, a lot of my past uh, update videos, if I would wear my glasses, there'd be a whole bunch of uh, glare and you wouldn't be able to see my eyes and it kind of bothered me. So like, see what I'm saying? So I'd talk and just couldn't see anything, so. <laughs> And I still wanted to keep my notes on the side here, so I can kind of read it, and it's in big writing, so with that said, let's continue. And as with uh, all my updating video stuff, uh, we're going to start off with uh, some YouTube stuff first, and then move on to some uh, personal things. So, uh, i got a lot to talk about, so uh, <laughs> this video is definitely going to be a bit longer than most of my other update videos. But with that said, here we go. So first, YouTube-y stuff. Um, as always, I got a lot of back catalog to catch up on, videos I recorded when I was at home, as well as in other countries, stuff going on lately. It's been, uh, it's been very difficult to sit down and edit some of these videos, especially the long videos, because they, they take a lot of time. So with that said, um, the videos that uh, I have to, uh, that I plan on releasing either this month or falling into next month is the uh, Mikasa ship tour video. Now, I did a tour of Mikasa Park earlier, but uh, at the time, uh, the ship, they weren't doing ship tours because it was uh, past hours, I guess, so. Um, when I went for the uh, the Curry Festival not too long ago, they uh, I did a uh, ship tour, and they had the ship open and everything like that, and there was lots of artifacts and just lots to see, so <laughs> definitely expect that video to be pretty long, about 30, 45 minutes, I think, so that's definitely coming up. Uh, next up is a bike ride through my hometown of Salina, Ohio. Now, I went out with uh, my brother Raj. We went uh, out bicycling out in town from where we live out uh, nearby Salina. And uh, it was kind of a my uh, ham-fisted attempt at a GoPro video where I got a mount for my bike to put my camera on. And keep in mind, it's the, uh, the Sony CX430V, which has the balanced optical steady shot. So it, for what it is, it keeps it pretty steady from what I've seen. There are some parts where I hit like really hard bumps where the camera shakes and stuff, but you know, keep in mind, <laughs> you know, it can't, you know, keep everything completely still all the time. So, but it does a pretty good job for what it is, and that's definitely coming out on the horizon. Next up is the tour of the Southeast Asia Aquarium in Singapore, also known as SEA. See, <laughs> it is the world's largest aquarium as noted by Guinness Book of World, Re World Records, if I can talk. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's been a while since I've done videos, so I'm, I'm a bit rusty as of late. Um, anyway, the SEA Aquarium is the largest aquarium in the world, as noted by Guinness Book of World Records. And uh, we did a tour of it when uh, we were underway last year. And uh, keep in mind, it was on my cell phone, so not the best quality, but lots of good stuff to see, so definitely check it out when it comes out. As well as a uh, little bits and bobbles of uh, my last video footage in San Diego before I left to come out here to Yokosuka, Japan. Now keep in mind this video footage isn't really, you know, too exciting, but it's more more along the lines for me just because it's the last video footage that I shot in San Diego. So it's, you know, me emptying out my storage unit, and me at the airport, and I was going to do one of those like going to Japan videos where I'm at the airport and then I land and, you know, Japan and then I, I arrive on base and you know I close out the video but um, I was just so jet-lagged I've never experienced a flight that long before and it was just whew, excuse me it was just uh, nuts so um, I didn't end up finishing that video so um, what I did record is little bits and bobbles of San Diego so I uh, definitely look forward to that on the horizon and of course no YouTube update would be complete without talking about my new YouTube channel, youtube.com slash floppimation. You should be watching. And subscribing too. So, um, Floppimation is basically uh, a collaboration channel between myself and uh, my best friend, the Talking Vidalkin, also known as Ariopolis. And uh, we basically do kind of a mystery science theater esque uh, review of the first episode in an anime series. So basically giving you like our first impressions, um, what we thought of the anime, would we watch, would we continue to watch it from there, stuff like that. So you know, first impressions, first impact, that's the name, first impact anime, which is our 
anime review series on Flopimation channel. And before we did First Impact Anime, we started off doing a, uh, a video series called Movie Night, which was basically the same thing, but we got some uh, $1 DVDs from Walmart and decided to review them. A little, a little bit more in the, uh, the same ilk as uh, Mystery Science Theater. So um, I decided to retool it a little bit just to uh, improve the look of the show. So uh, I can also put it up on YouTube now for um, various copyright reasons that I want, don't want to get into. But, uh, yeah. So in any event, it's, uh, it's now up on YouTube and uh, can't wait to show you uh, future episodes as well as uh, re-uploading classic episodes. Now keep in mind I have to retool them a little bit for YouTube's sake but uh, they will be coming out eventually and I'm um, planning on doing like a weekly release schedule once I start building them back up in the queue again so um, definitely look forward to that and I'll keep you guys posted uh, once I have more episodes completed so stay tuned for that. Now, whew, that was a lot to talk about. Drink break! <laughs> All right. This episode of The Andy Sun is brought to you by Mitsuya Cider. Mitsuya Cider. So good. Ah, refreshing and sparkling. Good stuff. Anywho, moving on to uh, the second part of this video, on to the, uh, the personal side of things. And uh, yeah, I've just been very busy as of late, even though from what you guys have seen, I've uploaded a video to YouTube pretty much daily throughout the main part of the week. A lot of that stuff was archival footage that I had scheduled so that way you guys could still get a video a day at least. But as far as me making new videos, I haven't really made a new video in a couple weeks now just because I've just been so busy on the ship with uh, certain evolutions and stuff that are going on. And it's really been cutting back my free time. And it's it's been rough on me, you know, both physically, mentally. Uh, this is <laughs> this is actually the first full weekend that I get to enjoy myself with. You know, I just just got off duty, I'm all sweaty and gross, and I'm gonna probably take a shower after this actually. But I'm here, I'm home, I'm free. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I had a whole bunch of ideas for videos that I wanted to do, but. I either didn't have the free time or the energy really to do them. And one was uh, the 4th of July video. Um, there was a fireworks celebration out in Yokosuka on 4th of July and I really wanted to get uh, video footage of it, but uh, you know, free time, I didn't have it. <laughs> and uh, getting into more of a, uh, more of a kind of a darker side of uh, this video. Um, and a lot of the stuff I could really explain a bit better in a future video, and I may end up doing that, but uh, just to give you guys a, uh, a quick little rundown of what's been going on with me for the past couple months. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot of uh, uh, symptoms of anxiety and uh, depression over the past uh, couple months or so, and uh, it's been really rough, and uh, there have been times where I've experienced panic attacks, and I've never experienced that before. I've never had stress affect me that way physically it was I thought it was thought it was just all in my head you know and I'm just overreacting you know just blowing things out of proportion but you know I I had my first panic attack and it's just like I knew I was having a panic attack so I didn't think I was gonna die because that was one of the first things that you do you realize you have a panic attack and you can come out of it a bit quicker a bit easier but it was still the thing that freaked me out most about it wasn't the fact that wasn't what I was panicking over, but it was the fact that I had a panic attack. That was just like, okay, you know, I'm a little too stressed. I gotta calm down, gotta change some things, you know, in my life, you know, maybe uh, change up the diet a little bit, drink a little less, attempt to get more sleep, but you know, with the Navy, that's not, uh, <laughs> that's not always an option. But, um, just try to take care of myself a bit better, you know? And, you know, I say this as I'm drinking a Mitsuya cider, but you know, you know what I mean, you know, right? Drink a little less, stuff like that. So, um, I'm doing that. It's been easier to get out of bed in the mornings. Um, usually before when I was drinking pretty hard, it would just, uh, it, would, it would be so hard to get out of bed in the morning. And I just, I couldn't physically move myself out of bed. I'd just be so friggin' 
you know, dead ass in the morning. And I'd end up drinking more coffee than I'm used to just to function, basically. And uh, since, uh, and then I decided to, uh, to go home on leave for three weeks because I figured, well, it was about the, uh, the halfway mark for me because usually I like to take leave twice a year, you know, once in the summertime-ish, depending on availability for taking leave, as well as um, in the uh, winter months for Christmas and New Year's. I, I was coming up on the, uh, the six-month mark, so I figured maybe I'm just a little stressed out and I just need to go home and relax. So I figured I'd give myself an extra week, more than what I normally do. I normally just give myself two weeks. But uh, especially living out in Japan, simply getting used to it and overcoming the jet lag usually takes me a bit longer than, say, San Diego, where it was just a three hour difference. So, um, went home, uh, really enjoyed myself, got to see, you know, family and friends, and had no panic issues at all. And, you know, I hardly ever drank you know I only drank like two or three times the whole time I was there you know I had some glasses of wine with my mom had some beers with my friends um, nothing too major and you know I felt great I was getting you know a good amount of sleep resting relaxing recovering and uh, the day I actually checked back on checked back in from leave you know, it was like I never left because everything was, oh my god, we gotta do this, oh my god, we gotta do this, oh my god, 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 oh my god. And it's just like, it's a Friday. Everything should be done, you know. Everything should be taken care of. A little all hands call at the end of the week, and you know, post. <laughs> so I figured it was gonna be pretty easy peasy, but um, a bunch of other stuff came up that I had to take care of, and you know how it is, ship life. <laughs> so, um,. And uh, those, anyway, those feelings of anxiety started coming back. And uh, right before um, I went into work on Monday, uh, I had a panic attack. Just getting up out of bed and I was just shaking and just like, I, uh, I felt like I couldn't do it. I felt like I, I couldn't do anything. I was just paralyzed. And it was at that point that I realized I need to get help. Because whatever it is I'm doing, you know, whether it's, you know, stop drinking, uh, eating better, stuff like that, it helps me a bit more physically, but it didn't quite give me that, you know, that last little bit of help I needed to get rid of this. So, um, I went to go see a therapist about uh, what was going on with my uh, anxiety issues and dealing with trouble at work because it is pretty much work related. I don't really have too many qualms at home or uh, family issues elsewhere or anything like that. It's work related. And uh, I just pretty much told my counselor everything. Just, just er let everything just go. And I think that part for me was really, ver really very helpful. And um, I know he's probably not going to see this, but I have to thank uh, I gotta thank my friend, and for confidentiality reasons, we'll call him something different. So we'll call him Sean. Uh, so I gotta thank my friend Sean for uh, really giving me the courage to seek out help, to seek therapy, because I figured, you know, I could fix this problem. I could do something. There's something I can do to help fix this problem. You know, cut out drinking, eat better, sleep more when I can. <laughs> But eventually, I just had to give in and realize that I couldn't, you know, I couldn't fix this problem alone. And I went to go uh, seek help. And it was the best thing I've ever done. And I've only gone to a couple sessions with him, and uh, I, I feel so much better. And I feel better at work, you know. And one of my problems at work that really just got me down was the fact that I emotionally invested myself into it and you know when things didn't go right or things came up I, I didn't just feel responsible for it but I felt like emotionally responsible for it like it was all my fault that we were staying here a little bit later you know there was something I could have done or something I could have told somebody to do or 
you know, there, there was always something that could be done to prevent this. And in some cases there are, but in most other cases it's just the fact of a matter of, you know, someone of higher rank than me not being satisfied with something for whatever reason. And, you know, putting the uh, ixne on the iboti day, <laughs> pretty much, you know, nixing liberty until uh, the issue is taken care of to their satisfaction. So, um, one of the things that really helped me was just realizing that, you know, when it comes to the Navy, there's a lot of stuff I can control, you know, as far as personal life stuff and things like that, but for the most part, you know, a lot of this stuff is out of my control. There's really nothing I can do about it. I mean, no matter how much I think I can prepare for something or anticipate something, I can't anticipate everything. And things do come up, and, you know, people will judge my work for what it is, and I just have to live with it. So even though I think I do a good job, and I think I have all my bases covered, and everybody else thinks that, you know, they have their bases covered, and I have my bases covered, and we collectively have our bases covered, you know, some khaki walks by and is like, oh, what's this? Fix that. You gotta fix it before you can go home. So, it's always something. <laughs> and that's uh, definitely something I want to uh, let some of the guys who are planning on joining the Navy know. There's gonna be a, a lot of those really hard times where you're not going to get to go home for a while and you're going to get a very minimal amount of sleep and you're just going to be working on what you think is bullshit but actually does have meaning to it you know, maybe in a broad scale meaning not something that you know, you would it would affect you directly but maybe in like the grand scheme of things it may affect you so just uh, just my advice would be to just hang in there you know you know, just try to uh, just look at the positive side and try to simply just do the best job that you can do. You know, and that's about it, really. And I, I remember one of my friends, uh, Justin, on uh, my last ship, he, he told me something that even today really sticks with me, and that is when you're, well, no matter where you're at on the ship, look up, what do you see? The light, right? So, and yes, I do know there's some parts of the ship that don't have light, so shut up. <laughs> but the, the, the message is that no matter where you are, no matter how dark or depressing or how just bleak the outcome looks, there's always something positive that can come from it. There's something positive you can learn from it. And you just have to focus on that rather than just the fact that, you know, the bleakness, the darkness, the... We're staying till 22.30 to fix something that some other department had to deal with or some other division had to deal with. But we can't go home until everything's fixed. Or something. You know what I'm talking about. So, um, if you guys are having troubles with anxiety, depression, or anything like that, and especially if you're considering suicide, I highly recommend uh, seeking help. I know you think you can beat this on your own, but believe me, you can't. You can try, but if you really want to beat this, you have to seek help. And, you know, I'd recommend seeking professional help, but if... Sorry, this is really hard for me. But um, if professional help isn't available for you, then I would suggest talking with family or friends or something like that. So. Just, just get help. Get well. But, um, anywho, moving on to uh, bigger and brighter things um, as I change my mood on the spot. Um, next on the list for personal stuff is uh, rain season in Japan. Basically just putting a damper on uh, me recording stuff and me taking pictures of the uh, nice sunrise. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually nice and clear today, but um, earlier throughout the week it's been, uh, been pretty cloudy, pretty rainy, pretty shitty. Um, there was this whole big scare about a typhoon rolling through, I think it was called Neoguri or something like that. I don't know. 
Um, and it, it wrecked Okinawa pretty pretty bad, but um, it's been pretty just a little extra rainy out here in Yokosuka, and I've heard that even people a bit further down south are like, eh, <laughs> didn't really affect them too much either, aside from the uh, people in Okinawa and maybe Kyushu in that area. I got a little extra rain, extra wind. Um, I know that the wind got pretty bad actually out here and ended up knocking bikes and stuff over, so uh, uh, leading into my next little bit, uh, I got a new bike <laughs> that got all scratched up thanks to the wind knocking it over. But it's a uh, it's a Hummer bike, and I didn't know that Hummer, the company that makes the Hummer motor vehicles, and cars and vans and shit, uh, they actually make bicycles too. So um, I got one of those things, and it's pretty fucking awesome. A little expensive for a bike, but you get what you pay for, and it's nice. <laughs> And the guys at the shop really took care of me, so I definitely recommend uh, recommend uh, getting to a good bike shop. So there's that. And also biking around Japan, uh, or at least in my local area. You know, I'm not going cross country or nothing like that. But uh, yeah, just going around my local area, going maybe five to ten k out. Nothing too serious, but just going out, exploring, getting my uh, quadriceps back into shape. Hopefully. Oof, that was my knee popping. Hopefully they'll be able to get back into shape soon so I can start doing some serious biking around Japan and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about having the bike. Scratches and all. And they're actually not that bad, really. I just I like to over-dramatize dramatize things. Okay, so, um, last little bit before I uh, close the video off here is uh, me getting back into playing guitar. Now, um, I kind of go in cycles when it comes to guitar. Like, there's times where that's like my main focus. And there's times where I just kind of put it on the back burner and just put it off in the corner and just like, eh, so bad. But, you know, I want to try to get back into playing guitar as well as, you know, doing other things like, you know, learning Japanese better, learning more characters, learning how to speak with uh, with confidence and that's one of my big problems because if I don't speak with confidence then they start breaking out the broken English and then I know I'm like fuck <laughs> I've lost <laughs> so that's like my little uh, internal struggle right now um, anyway getting back into the playing guitar uh, side of things uh, I plan on buying some, uh, some guitars and hope to do some unboxings fairly soon maybe never know <laughs> and uh, stuff like that and also I plan on getting uh, some more furniture maybe a TV stuff like that you know you guys don't care about that stuff that's just psh, whatever get a couch and shut up <laughs> so um, that's all I got on the uh, updatey side of things so I'm gonna drink down here and we'll close out the video so yeah this is the Andy song sign up for now thanking you guys for tuning into this video and my other stuff also want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. Hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.